What is up guys, zpan 247 Dominos here, and today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows XP in VirtualBox. Um, earlier I did a video on how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox. Um, the reason mainly why I did that is because um, at first with that I had an error trying to install it, but I figured out how to fix it, and then I made that video for you guys in case anybody else had the same issue I did. Um, for this video, uh, for the Windows XP video, I actually had this requested, so um, I'm going to be doing that for people who requested and uh, for anybody else who needs this tutorial. And like if they haven't gotten it to work for some odd reason, then this is definitely a tutorial for you. Um, so let's go ahead and begin. I am sick, so if my voice sounds a little weird or not normal, that's why. So let's begin. So First, you're going to need, if you don't have it, but I'm sure you probably do, but if you don't, you're going to need VirtualBox. And that'll be in, all these links will be in the description for VirtualBox and for Windows XP and all that stuff. Um, you're going to want to download VirtualBox for whatever you have. If you have Windows, download it. Mac, download it here. Linux here and Solaris here. Um, there's also the extension pack if you want to get that. Um, so. If any of you guys want that, that's also here. So after you download a VirtualBox and you install it, um, you'll get a program like this. You won't have all these over here though, um, but it'll be blank like that. And then the next thing you want to download is a Windows XP ISO file. Um, this will be in a RAR file, so if you guys do not have WinRAR, you're going to need to download that because you're going to need it to be able to get the file out of here. But the only thing about this is it's protected with a password. And so the password will be in the description. This is fully working. It's not a joke. There is the actual password. It actually works. The password's not protected or anything, I promise you. Um, so you just have to type in the password. Uh, once you get it from the description, it's another RAR file, but it's not password protected. So you just open that up. It's a text file. It should show you the password. You just enter that in here, and you are able to access the file. So once you got that out, um, now you can go ahead and begin setting up your actual machine. So in VirtualBox, you're going to want to hit the new button up here in the top left, and then you're going to want to give it a name. So I'll just name it Windows XP, I guess. And then... You can select it in here if it doesn't automatically select it. You can either select it in 32-bit or 64-bit. I recommend just selecting 64-bit. Hit next. Um, the recommended memory size, it says, is 192 megabytes, but you can bump this up to anything. The max I can use pretty much is 4 gigs, because I have 8 gigs total on this computer, but they can let you, they can let you go over, but it just wouldn't be the greatest idea because it'd make your computer run really slow. So we'll go ahead and do... Uh, we'll do... Uh, 5 to 12 megabytes. You really don't need a lot for this. It's just XP. Then you want to hit next and then you're going to create a virtual hard drive. So hit create and then hit next. Select it BDI and then select dynamically allocated. Hit next. Then you're going to uh, give your amount of space that you want for this. This will be saved on your actual hard drive. But if you have like an extra hard drive in your computer, um, you can save to that as well. I'll just leave this at 10 gigs and we'll go ahead and create it. So the virtual machine has been created. So now what you want to do is go ahead and hit the settings button up here. Then you're going to want to hit storage. And then you're going to want to hit this little disk here where it says empty. Then hit the disk icon here and then select choose a virtual CD DVD disk file. And then you're going to want to uh, go ahead and find the file. Mine's in a different location. Here it is. It's the professional version. I have other versions here. Um, so it's the professional version. So go ahead and open. And it'll be right here. It's 622 megabytes. Um, and that's pretty much all you got to do there for settings and everything. Just hit OK. Should be down here next to your hard drive. And then you want to go ahead and hit Start. It's very simple. All this is very simple, but that's pretty much the simplest part of this, really. I'll bring up the VirtualBox screen, and then you'll see the normal Windows XP setup screen with all these little 
uh, dialogs down here. And so it'll go through all those, which shouldn't take too long. Should be a lot quicker than actually doing it on a computer. So it says set up as starting Windows. And you can make this full screen if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Processing information. There you go. We are up to the professional setup. Um, so it says the following, li the following list shows. Ugh, can't talk today. The following list shows the existing partitions and unpartitioned space of this computer. So you'd use the up and down keys if you have more than one partition, but you should only have one since you only created one uh, virtual hard drive. So that's obviously the one that you want. So you're going to want to go ahead and hit enter. And then you're going to want to hit format the partition using NTFS file system quick. Hit enter. And then it will format your hard drive, your virtual hard drive. This part shouldn't take too long. It goes up by 20%. Oh, see, it's done already. It's going to check the drive, and it'll be and it'll be labeled as drive C, of course. And then this is the part where it's copying all the files. This should take about two minutes at the max, I would think. Um, about one to two minutes, maybe, to do this. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, but if it pauses like this, as it is right now, don't worry. Uh, it's just uh, since it's in a virtual machine, it'll be like this, but um, I'll be back with you guys once this is all finished. Alright, so that step is all finished. Took a little longer than I expected to, but don't worry. If it takes a little longer, that's just fine. It shouldn't be over five minutes. It should be definitely under five minutes for this process to complete. Um, so now it's loading information. This part shouldn't take too much longer. Uh, it says, please wait while setup initializes your Windows XP configuration. Um, and then you should get to the part where you reboot. So, restarting computer. And then it'll bring up a key that says, press any key to boot. Do not press a key, just let it go. And then it'll give you that screen, the Windows XP loading screen. You've seen that all before, definitely, if you guys have uh, had XP in the past. And now you should be able to move around in your uh, window here. And you should be able to get the setup screen that some of you may be familiar with. Or most of you, but... Um, I definitely remember this screen. I've seen it a bunch of times because I installed it on virtual machines a ton of times and I installed it on the other computers in my house at one time. But um, this will be pretty much just the process of doing the setup. Um, there's step by step parts that you need to do for this. So I'll be back to you guys once the first screen pops up in the setup. Alright, so we are up with the first screen here. Um, it says personalize your software, so this is where you enter your name and your organization. So I'll just go ahead and only enter in the organization name. You don't have to do this, but I'm just going to do it anyway. So we'll just put my YouTube channel name. Alright, well, I think you can just skip this step if you want to. No, I have to add a name. So we'll just put everything epan we'll put that for both I guess might as well since I got a name huh oh I forgot the why there we go alright so just hit next and then you're gonna name your computer I'll just name it um, XP that probably won't be, I don't know if that's a long enough name, but then we'll just skip the administrative password, hit next. Uh, choose your time zone. I'm in central time, and the date and time is correct, so we'll go ahead and hit next. And then it will continue with the setup again. Um, I don't remember when the next screen comes up, but 
this shirt, this part does not take 30 minutes. Uh, it will take less than 30 minutes, obviously. It's already down in 29. Um, this copying files is pretty much most of it, so this shouldn't take too long. So I'll be back with you guys. Uh, once the next screen is up, or like once it gets close to the end, I'll be back with you guys. Okay, so setup is finished, and it will reboot. And it'll say press any key to boot from CD again. Go ahead and just let that run. Don't press any key. We'll bring you up with that screen. Uh, you can go ahead and remove the disk now if you'd like, I believe. Yep, go ahead and remove it if you'd like. It'll say to improve the appearance of visual elements. Windows will automatically adjust your screen resolution. So just hit OK. And it makes it a little bigger. So just hit OK again. And it'll come up with this screen. And then you should hear the Windows XP um, setup music thing. You'll get presented with this screen. Welcome to Microsoft Windows. Thank you for purchasing Microsoft XP, Windows XP. Go ahead and next. Um, just hit help protect my PC. You can check this if you want. Just check either one. Hit next. And then just type in a username. And then hit next. And you're done. No product key involved, no activation involved. You're all ready to go in a couple simple, easy steps. So it says applying computer settings and then welcome, and it'll give you the logon sound. And then. It should log you in. May take a little bit the first time. Since it, you're logging in for the first time, it's got to uh, adjust to setting up the desktop and everything and the start menu. There you go. You'll see the desktop or the desktop background, the default background, and it'll set up some settings for you. And there you are. You are done. And XP is installed in VirtualBox. Um, sometimes you're able to get internet and sometimes you're not able to, but we'll just go ahead and try it. If you go to a certain website. No. You can't. You may have to mess with your uh, network settings here. You know, like try bridged adapter maybe. Or try just anything really. But it just depends. Sometimes you can get internet, sometimes you can't. It just all depends on how your thing works. So that is how to install Windows XP uh, in VirtualBox. Um, thank you guys for watching. More tutorials like this coming soon. Um, also, uh, other types of videos definitely coming soon for you guys. Um, so, once again, thanks for watching. And I've got to tell you, links are in the description for Windows XP, VirtualBox, the password for the files and everything, WinRAR, all that stuff. So, yep. Uh, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one.